Against the chill of morning, I put on shoes and a warm jacket. Robins and sparrows scavenge seeds, call back and forth from fence to ground. Squirrels in fur coats don't mind autumn's approach. In high grass, a lone cricket chirps along the fence, unafraid of an old man with an empty coffee cup. Four city deer snort and graze on overgrown shrubs. Seven days remain of summer, one week, a quarter moon, before earth tilts away and solstice chases the sun. As if she knows a secret she cannot tell, concrete Mary smiles her Mona Lisa smile, practices yoga on the wall, holds a sauna pose. Mary, when did you become holy? Was it when they pulled you from the mold, loaded the truck, took you to a garden shop, tagged, sold, and someone took you home? Or was it the act of setting you on a wall where lichen took root and pulled substance from the air? How many tenants have you known? Do you know movers come on Wednesday? Sun peers through overcast skies, warms Mary's plaster gown. Outstretched hands gather light, her face becomes a moon. Chipmunk chatters at plastic owl, roosting on a patio wall. Red birdhouse in neighbor's yard sits empty, waiting for spring. Rain comes, flows down her arms. Concrete Mary does not shiver or flinch. Somewhere Joseph holds the baby, so nothing disturbs her meditation. Water drips from fingertips, puddles at feet. She holds the pose she struck when she became an Italian citizen and awaits her son's reanimation. Oh.